It has recently been brought to my attention that I am, in fact, a Visco girl. Bust down, Tatiana. Bust down. Hey guys, what's up, it's Tachi, and welcome to or back to my channel. Oh my freaking goodness gracious, the Lord in heaven above. <sighs> guys, turns out I'm a Visco girl and I have been all along. Four months now, I have been receiving DMs, endless comments, messages, everything possible saying, Tachi, you are the epitome of a Visco girl. And I've realized it is in fact time to embrace the truth. I didn't really know what that meant. Everyone was like, you're a Visco girl. I was like, yeah, I, I edit my photos on Visco. I don't really know what you mean. The trend has been going around for a very long time. People seem to actually hate Visco girls. For those of you who don't know what a Visco girl is, let's look it up. What does Visco girl mean? On dictionary.com. Visco girl is a term generally used as an insult for a young, usually white woman who posts trendy pictures of herself edited on the Visco app. Stereotypes include wearing scrunchies, Birkenstocks, and drinking out of a hydro flask. By the way, if you guys are watching this, go drink a glass of water. <laughs> Saying and I oop, and generally seeking attention online. I've been outed. Truly, my secret has been revealed. Let's read what Urban Dictionary has to say. Visco girl wears oversized t-shirts or sweatshirts. Has Vans, Crocs, Burks. The Tumblr girls of 2019 will probably catch them wearing scrunchie tube top, puka shell necklace. I mean, I've never worn a puka shell necklace, so maybe I'm not a Visco girl. I really don't see like what's so horrible about this. Like everyone's like, Visco girls are the worst. Maybe they're like incredibly annoying. I've been a Visco girl. If this is what a Visco girl is, I've been a Visco girl my entire life. Environmentally conscious, drink a lot of water, wear comfortable clothes. I like being a Visco girl. Anyways, to honor my newfound heritage and the realization that I am in fact this thing that everybody has been talking about. I don't know what it was like I kind of knew what a visco girl was but I saw everyone's freaking video thumbnails and like everything and all the comments but I just kind of ignored it like I haven't really played into it at all but you know I think it's time that I just like own it. All I talk about on this channel is drinking water, being environmentally conscious slash environmental justice, self-love and that's it nature, travel. It turns out I am so basic. But you know what? I love them. So it's all right. Anyways, in honor of this realization, I decided that today I would paint a hydro flask. I actually ended up getting a Mer, Mir, Mer. I don't know this brand actually. I think I might have a coffee cup from this brand. I have like a million freaking reusable cups because that's just my life. But I decided to get one of these instead of a hydro flask because I literally have like so many hydro flasks. You guys, this is just too much. This is too much. Anyways, I have a lot of hydro flasks, probably like five or six. I decided that I would get a new type of water bottle. The reason I decided to go with this one is because, first of all, it's the only white water bottle that they had at Whole Foods. And also, turns out Mir, 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 whatever this is, um, donates a portion of their proceeds to clean water for places that don't have clean water. So that's awesome. Without further ado, subscribe if you're new. I know we're pretty far into this video, but I'm gonna be painting this. I love painting and so let's do it. Here's my plain white canvas. For this design, I think I'm gonna go with two favorite things in the world, which are the ocean and mountains. I grew up in Hawaii, so I am a nature freak. Innately love the ocean, love snowboarding, surfing, all of the above. So I'm thinking I'm gonna do half of it as the ocean and then as it wraps around it's gonna turn into mountains it's gonna be challenging I don't even know where to start harder 
than it looks. I don't know how people paint this type of surface. Like, this is testing my abilities. Oh my god. Hey, what's good? It's actually the next day. I don't know what it was yesterday, but while I was painting, for some reason I thought that I was like doing a really bad job and I was like honestly gonna stop making this video and just not make this video. So I felt like I was doing a really bad job. So I just kind of, I don't know why I was being so hard on myself. Like I've never painted on a hydro flask before and I've never painted on a surface that's not like straight. So I really don't know why I was so in my head about it and why I thought that it looked so horrible because now that it's been like a minute since I've had an opportunity to just kind of look at it. It's honestly pretty cute and it's like I did a pretty good job I'm gonna add a little bit more moral of the story is to not be so hard on yourself Especially when you're trying something new if you've never done something How can you expect to be so good at it? I don't know. I just have high expectations for myself <sighs> Just gonna give myself a little breather and it's fine and it looks great I'm going to add in some clouds some more details in the wave because this kind of just looks like a blob of nothing it's Maybe some birds if I'm feeling spicy Let's get to it. Alright guys, I finally finished my water bottle. It honestly turned out really, really cool. I really like it. The reason I decided to paint the ocean and the mountains is because I was born in Aspen, Colorado and I'm an avid snowboarder and I grew up going there all the time. My dad's from Colorado. So mountains are a really, really big part of my life. I love the mountains and just nature in general. And then I painted the wave because I grew up in Hawaii. I'm a surfer. I love the ocean. The ocean calls to me every day. So these are like my my two favorite things in the world basically nature in general specifically mountains and I also did the clouds and they actually turned out quite good like better than I expected and so I decided to look up what mirror is and it actually is really freaking cool what they do and I think it's kind of like a beautiful coincidence that I ended up buying this bottle instead of a hydro flask because they do a project which is called product to project every mirror product sold helps fund trackable giving projects so also this is not sponsored at all by the way I just think this is really cool so I thought we would explore it together but on the bottom of every bottle they have a give code and then you can put the give code in online so we're gonna do that now okay thanks for registering your give code you are now connected to project number 56 mirror x women's wilderness in April 2019 mirror granted ten thousand dollars to help support their mission to cultivate courage confidence connection and environmental stewardship among girls women and the LGBTQ plus community through year-round outdoor immersions across the west view project that's so cool that is so freaking cool what the heck it's in boulder colorado and it's a project <laughs> boulder colorado bruh that's really awesome and then it just gives you a bunch of information about the project and part of the proceeds of this went to fund this project that's so cool and i love when brands do that type of thing it feels so much better like 
consuming that product and giving my money to that company. And it's just like a coincidence that I happened to get that bottle yesterday, but that's awesome. I love it. I'm also gonna go to Michael's and I'm gonna get a waterproof sealant so that I can actually use this bad boy without the paint coming off when I wash it and use this as my everyday bottle. But, but yeah, this was definitely a different video for me. The way that I kind of structured it and did it and the whole time-lapse thing, everything is just kind of different than what I usually do. If you're new to my channel, check out my other videos. I do a lot of vlogs, self-love, environmental justice, that type of stuff some creative stuff, some chill vloggy stuff, whatever you want. You can basically find it on my channel, not gonna lie. But that's it for this week's video. If you guys liked it, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below. Don't forget that you're cool and you're great and I love you. And of course, don't forget to go drink a glass of water. I love you guys with all my heart and I will see you in the next video. Oh, would you mind following me on Instagram? It would, it would help me quite a lot. I'll leave my Instagram in, in, the, in the frame. Really sorry about the accents. I, I hope they're not offensive to anyone. Peace and love forever. I'm a Visco girl, it's decided. Visco girls are cool, love money swag. Follow my TikTok, bye.